Hey everyone, Alex Wykowski here with WJON, and if you notice my getup, I'm a few floors down to the St. Cloud Hospital near the Central Processing Unit for the surgical staff. And what happens there is everything that is used for surgery is clean, sterilized, and ready to use again for another surgery. So we're going to take a tour for this week's behind the scene episode of what goes on in the Central Processing area, how they clean things, how they sterilize, and get ready for use for the next surgery. It's a tedious job for the staff of the Central Care Health Central Processing Area, but cleanliness is happiness. We process approximately um, anywhere from 700 to 900 items a day. After doctors are finished with surgery, the instruments they use go through a cleaning process starting with decontamination. We have staff back in decontamination that will break down those case carts and separate the items that needed, need to be hand washed versus go through our automated washes that you can see over here. Once clean, instruments then are repackaged through an assembly line. All of ours have a barcode on them, and so all they have to do is scan the tray to put it together. Um, and when they scan it, it will show all the different items that are in that tray on, on the tray. Each box can hold 150 or more items, and each need to be checked thoroughly. So there's a couple different checkpoints that people are checking to make sure they're clean. Once the items are sorted, they are then sent through sterilization for an hour. And then, and then they'll just push the cart down and put it away. While the process may seem quick and simple, to do it right takes time. Some trays can take 15 minutes to put together. Some can take three hours. Stacy says they're lucky to have the technology they do to provide the best service for the doctors and patients. With the different technology that we have, we um, can better process the instruments with our washers, our sterilizers, the tracking system. Reporting from St. Cloud, Alex Wykowski, WJON News.